I'm inviting you to join me on my quest to discover the most exciting cryptocurrencies. Blockchain has the potential to revolutionize major worldwide industries. And the cool thing is, it's just getting started. So where to begin? With so many projects out there, it can seem overwhelming. But that's why I've created this web series. To research and summarize what the coin is and what potential it has to conclude the inherent value of the coin. So today I'll be talking about new cipher in you. So what is New Cipher? It is a decentralized encryption, access control, and key management system encryption service for public blockchains. What is encryption? It basically takes normal information, legible, coherent information like these words, and it puts them behind a wall of code so it makes it secure. So they offer end-to-end -end encrypted data sharing on public blockchains and decentralized storage solutions. So it says it allows users to share private data between a number of participants in public consensus networks. How do you share private data with public? Uh, using a proxy re-encryption technology. So the decryption technology makes new cipher much more secure and protected than traditional blockchain projects based on public key encryption, according to new cipher. So looking at their white paper, it actually gives a pretty good explanation of what this is. So New Cipher KMS, the key management system, provides encryption and cryptographic access controls without reliance on a central service provider. It leverages the state-of-the-art proxy re-encryption technology to allow re-keying encrypted data. This allows a decentralized network of nodes to provide key management operations without accessing private keys or plain text data. Um, it took me a little while to figure this out, but basically it's ultra secure and anonymous. So think of when you register a password for a website. So the best case is that your password is encrypted and the website would have to decrypt it in order to see what the password is. So say you have a staff member that wants to see your password, well it's encrypted so they'd have to decrypt it to look at it. Now what New Cipher does is make it so that the website that you register your password on would never actually be able to see your, your password. And in fact, they would have to use a third party that would be in charge of decrypting the password and then sending it to you directly um, without the main website even knowing what the password is. And additionally, that third party who decrypts it for the main party wouldn't even know what it is because it's simply a decrypted line of code to them and they would have no idea what it's for. So see, here's here's how they explain it. The core technology is proxy re-encryption, a cryptographic primitive, which allows a third party proxy to transform cipher texts from one public key to another using re-encryption keys without learning anything about the underlying message. So the use cases here are actually quite amazing. Uh, new cipher key management system enables public blockchains to securely store and manipulate secrets, giving decentralized applications a way to work with private data. But key management as a service is useful for centralized applications too. So the potential use cases include a key management service, just a regular old KMS but much more secure, uh, safely storing encrypted secrets alongside code on like GitHub or some other third-party blockchain information platform, decentralized digital rights management, pay-to-view streaming, encrypted digital content marketplaces, private multi-user chats, private shareable file storage, blind identity management, uh, patients sharing medical records with healthcare providers, mobile devices management and replication. Major possibilities here. So let's look at the website here. Not the greatest layout, to be honest, but it get, does tell you what you need to know. So manage secrets such as IAM tokens, database, SSH credentials by signing encryption keys across dynamic environments. So dynamic access control, conditionally grant and revoke access to sensitive data to arbitrary numbers of recipients. Secure computation, process encrypted data while preserving the confidentiality of the inputs and results. So looking at their Twitter, they're pretty active on social media, actually. Um, the pen tweet says that they just merged with Keep, which is another uh, similar company. Um, they've been giving away NFTs to, I guess, stakers. They're listed on many exchanges. They just got listed on Huobi. 
So yeah, they post all the time. On this and also on their Discord. So we currently have a circulating supply of 641 million new, only 16% diluted. The max supply would be a little under 4 billion. The uh, volume is 26 million a day. It's up quite a bit today. Um, the diluted market cap, 1.7 billion currently. So the market cap is only $290 million on this. It puts it at rank 182. So the market cap is pretty low. It's a newer project, I think that's why. So looking at the chart, it does look a little bit bearish. If we zoom out, it, it went all the way up to $1.15 at one point um, back in February. And then it's been a little bit bearish since then possibly with some restructuring from the keep merger that this shows some consolidation here i drew a couple lines on this most recent kind of little bit of a bearish run that they're having and it looks like the support line here which i drew i would keep an eye on this if it keeps testing the support i would hold off on buying but if it starts coming up a little bit to here so like if tomorrow we see that it doesn't fall below 46 cents and the day after it doesn't fall below 46 and a half and then the day after that doesn't fall below 47 then we're going to start seeing a bull run start on this thing and i think it could break out at any moment too to be honest so what are the pros well cybersecurity is a fundamental aspect of any business model there's enormous use case potential 641 million tokens with proof of stake and staking incentives to control supply is pretty good tokenomics they had the hard merge with Keep last month. Um, Keep, again, is a similar project, and it would have been competition for New Cypher, so merging is definitely ideal for both. It's listed on a ton of exchanges, including Coinbase, and they have a very active social media. What are the cons? It may be tricky to attract new buyers because the technology is somewhat complicated. Uh, the website is also kind of poorly designed. I mean, cryptographers are some of the highest paid jobs out there. My first Google result, returns a $200,000 annual salary as the average. So this means very high paying commissions or partnerships are inevitable with NewCypher, something that would catch news and guide the company to further success. The use cases are abundant. I mean, in addition to any cloud service or business that keeps personal information on file, I could see this being adopted by like VPN services. You know, if their proxy re-encryption can be dynamic, like that it could change and update regularly without disconnecting you from the internet. Um, I think that would be fantastic. I mean, it's a pretty new project and still it's at the early stages of marketing, adoption and investment. A pretty solid long-term hold I see with potential to blow up at any moment. The chart does look a little bearish now, but that means it's in a buy zone. So in terms of where it could go in the future, I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, it, it could definitely 100x considering the supply. 10x, no problem. 100x, it's possible. It is very possible for this coin to explode. Definitely keep an eye on it. Take a look at the chart. If it, if it pops above support, buy, hold, and see where it goes. So that's it for New Cypher. Until next time, keep your portfolio strong and your hands stronger.